Day number two of the vlog. We're in the gym about to work out. It's Thursday, so that means bench day, or not bench day, uh, deadlift day. I have a question for you guys, right? Okay, so about two and a half to three weeks ago, I like had a situation with my finger where I was, I was playing flag football and one of my homies threw it in the dirt and I kind of put my finger into the ground. I just want to know, like, is this like dislocated? Like, would, would this would this constitute as a dislocation to you guys? Like, does that look like I need to get popped back to place? Because, granted, I haven't I haven't iced it at all, but the last, like, three weeks, nothing has changed about it. Like, I've gained some range of motion back into it, but for the most part, it's still kind of swollen, and it just feels, like, awkward. Like, it's kind of twisted to the side. I don't know. Like, my other finger, this is what my other hand looks like. It looks completely normal, straight, and then this finger is just like this. So, like... I'm gonna go ask some of the people that are that work here at the gym and they would know. But I'm just curious. I'm like, I think I dislocated my finger. I think I've been like lifting with a dislocated finger for the past couple of weeks. That would be kind of funny if that's been the case. But I really want my finger to be back to normal. It's kind of annoying uh, having to compensate for a dislocated or stubbed finger. I don't even know what's going on here. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's deadlift day today. Uh, not much to say. I just want to stay in the pocket. I have a heavy single at an RP of seven to eight so we're getting pretty heavy then after that's a very very easy two by six on rp of six uh that's pretty much it that's like that's gonna be a very fast ass workout so i'm gonna take my time to warm up and just kind of get into the into the workout it's not much to say pretty simple workout today my headphones are dying like it gave me that signal it's like yo i'm about to die in like the next like 10 to 15 minutes so uh, I'm gonna be dealing with this trash music. Actually, I got my AirPods super straight. On my last couple of sets, you guys saw me kind of fall back a little bit. What I'm trying to do is practice, I'm trying to practice sitting back more on my deadlifts. I tend to do almost like a, a stiff like a deadlift that time. I need to practice on sitting back more. I just need to practice doing that, and um, that's what we're trying to hammer down until I get to my top single. I'm gonna put my headphones back on. I don't, I don't like this music whatsoever. <laughs> There we go. So, my uh, my headphones finally died, and right now we're about to put on the uh, AirPods. Hopefully, it does a good job of kind of like canceling out the music I'm currently hearing. Like this music isn't bad, but it's like not music for a gym environment, in my personal opinion. Can I help you, sir? Yes. What is this? Huh? This is whack. I can't get jiggy with this shit. I cannot get jiggy with this shit. I can't do this. This sounds like folk music. I personally cannot get jiggy to folk music as I'm trying to lift as much sweat as I possibly can inside of the gym. You, you feel me? So, shout out to all the people that like this type of music. Whenever they're lifting, I'm not saying it's bad music, I'm just saying for gym purposes, I ain't rocking with it. So, uh, I have my headphones charging up there at the front, and then I got these AirPods I'm finna put on right now for the time being. Cause this, this ain't gonna do it. So, let's warm up. Let's continue to warm up. We got 495 on the, bow, uh, on the bar right now.
Okay, that pull doesn't really count because it was a little bit awkward. I was like off-centered. I was trying to center it without being off-centered. Very weird pull. Like, it was like all the way on one side, and I was trying to like stay in the middle of the platform. I should have moved the bar before I even did it, but that felt easy. Just added context to what you guys just saw. I'm gonna go ahead and it needs to get louder. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and caught I'm gonna go ahead and cap it right there at 635. 635 is nothing to uh, nothing to be mad about. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this two sets of six out of the way. It's supposed to be really easy. I think I'm gonna I'm just think, I think I'm gonna work with 545. That should be the weight. Like the ego inside of me wants to go uh, for six. 75 like seven plates because that's kind of what I had in mind for today's workout I was like I should be able to move that pretty solidly But as I started working and uh, grinding I'm like all right today today doesn't look that good You know what I'm saying I hit 695 last week at the Arnold uh, And uh, this week just just isn't it so I'm gonna go ahead and just like peel back Take what I have for today and then uh, continue on with the workout certain times You just gotta check your ego and it's like that like going like my ego is not gonna lead me where I need to go uh, I gotta humble myself and just kind of work with it so, or work through it. So, all right, 545, two sets of six, and then we're gonna move on to a back workout with some hamstring work in there as well. I'm actually heading over to Charlotte's crib for the first time. So, come on, everybody, let's go. Oh, like I said earlier, sorry, I got like mints in my mouth. I'm going over to Charlotte's new crib for the first time. He's leasing a condo in the area. Goddamn. Oh, this, this shit way too low. Okay, there we go. Goddamn. You got mad windows in here. Boy's got a piano for no reason. Got the goddamn Joe Bud podcast hey, running. Are you trying to take a tour of my crib? Shut the fuck oh, up, man. Three? Oh! Oh! What? I didn't know he was in here. Oh, I thought. Are you, he's, not, he's right here? He's right here. I thought you were up there. Welcome to day number, I think it's three of this vlog so far. All right, so in the last video I discussed that I'm gonna be benching four times a week now. So this is the third day of the week that I'm benching. Tomorrow's gonna be the fourth week. And I gotta test a couple of things going forward. So usually on Friday, I do my bench workout and I follow that up with like maybe like a, a arm workout, like bicep, tricep, or maybe like a shoulder workout. And I wanna see, can I still do the same things that I'm doing and incorporate that fourth day of benching? I still want to maintain the bodybuilding aspect of my split by following up my bench workout with like a shoulder or bicep, tricep workout, right? So I'm gonna still do what I do today, 
and then obviously I have bench tomorrow, which is something that's new for me, and I'm gonna see how my body's able to hold up. I think I'll be all right. Like, I got squat and bench tomorrow, and for the most part, I still feel fresh on Saturday. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I normally do, going through everything. Like I said, it's gonna be a pretty easy single. This might be my single, it's supposed to be RP of six, and after that we have a four by four at RP of seven. So it's pretty light work, and then tomorrow is even more light work. It's like a three by five at RP of six. So let's get to it, man. Bench has been feeling good, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, Monday, I pulled up, and like my technique was on point. I've never seen my technique look like that before or feel like that. So, oh, I envision this set moving hella easy. So, uh, we have 300 and 40 pounds on the bar right now. 370, I didn't even see the clip, but it felt like super fast, felt super easy. It felt like an RP of six. Now we have 340 for four at an RP of seven. I actually did this weight, I think it was, was it Wednesday? Wednesday or Monday, one of those days. I did this weight, it moved nice. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go back to it and see how it moves for today's workout. So once again, a four by four, RP of seven. So that means easy as fuck. To move on to the last set. I think I've been pretty good at like the the time in between each set. Like hasn't been too long, right? Like maybe like a song or two in between each set, so maybe like two to three minutes. Uh, honestly, these reps are flying. Like I feel super comfortable. I can't even explain the minor change that I made to my bench. I know like in a couple of videos back I discussed putting my uh, putting my uh, what is it middle finger on the ring, uh, but I actually or no putting my pinky on the ring. I'm not doing that no more. Like. With the amount of benches that I'm gonna be doing going forward, I need a shorter range of motion to take that stress off my body. So, uh, what I changed, I'm gonna try my best to explain it. It's a little bit hard. Try not to listen to my words. I can't explain it. I can show you better than I can tell you, but I'm gonna try my best in my own ways to explain what's going on. So, uh, 340. Just pay attention. All right. Setting up, boom, here. Coming down. Chilling here. Setting up, making sure the top part of my back is is uh, glued onto the bench. Go back, reset. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, let's do that again. Talking and setting up is like harder than I thought it would be. All right. Okay, so right here. So now we're gonna press the shoulders, bring it back, and now this is what I've been changing. Right there. I'm tightening up. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Talking during that set made it a lot harder than it should have been. But I was really trying to show you guys what I'm talking about there, so. Like, I depressed, I, what I used to do was depress my shoulders, and I don't know if I wasn't getting tight, as I, after I depressed my shoulders, but now what I'm doing is getting down, depressing my shoulders, and I guess I wasn't retracting my scapula as much as I possibly could have, and I think that's what I'm trying to explain. The fact that I'm retracting my scapula and pulling into the, to my body, I'm not sure. Maybe that set was even a good example of that, but I'm trying to explain what I'm showing, what I'm, what I'm giving you guys. I think just paying attention and seeing how I'm doing it is a lot better than, uh, Listen to me talk, I might be confusing y'all. I don't even know. That was trash. <laughs> Bicep and tricep workout. I actually 
I went hard, but I didn't do too much. Like I did two sets of every movement that you guys saw, but it was like more so towards ball, uh, towards failure. So like I'd get like maybe three to four reps shy of failure, and just and like let the set go. So like the pump right now, I feel ridiculous. Like you know what I'm saying? Your boy feel full as fuck. A little bit thick with two C's. But uh, I'm gonna go back and refer to the bench part of the workout that I was talking about. And I was trying to uh, explain to you guys what I meant by like when I'm depressing my shoulder. So what I actually was trying to convey to you guys was the fact that this whole time, I've been depressing my shoulders and I thought that I was retracting my scapula when I really wasn't. So what you guys saw before and what I was trying to explain was the fact that I wasn't Retracting my scapula the way I thought it was. So basically what I'm trying to say is you want to press your shoulders and then retract your scapula. So whenever you guys saw me benching and like the bench went up just a little bit, right, when I got into position, that was me retracting my scapula, right? So when the bench moved a little bit, when the bar moved a little bit higher before I started my first set, I was retracting my scapula. Whereas before, like all the way previous to my other bench sessions leading up to now, I haven't been doing that. I thought that I was just, I thought that depressing my shoulders was depressing and retracting, or depressing my shoulders and retracting my scalp, but when it really wasn't. All, all I was doing was just depressing my shoulders. And I wasn't getting tight before I actually made that first uh, rep, right? So, this music is loud as hell, man. It's messing up my vibe. But anyways, you guys gotta get the gist of what I was saying. Um, I wasn't retracting my scapula properly. I just learned how to bench in 2019 after doing it for like 10 years. Stupid. But overall, good workout, good bench session. That's easy. We've only been here for like what? I, maybe an hour 20? That's hella short for me. Hella short. Yo, I'm about to catch a body, so you better ask somebody Flexing with that style that I be kicking like I'm at karate I never knowin' where I'm going through next But all I know is that I'm flowing 